we go. A mí me encanta pasarla bien, disfrutar, me encanta la fiesta, me encanta tener una buena conversación, conocer nuevas personas. Whoa. Oh, damn, Jennifer, that's my girl, dude. Oh, so nice. I'm going to. Wow, I think what's all this shit. Oh, he got the alcohol flow, baby. Down. Okay. Oh, so that's all around. Gorgeous. Yeah, old girl does definitely have party voice, that's for sure. I'm so excited to make new memories. Vamos a hacerlo a los colombianos. Okay, yeah, teach us the Colombian way. Colombiano. Pa arriba, yeah. pa abajo, pa el centro, pa adentro. We do that in Mexico. Once I get started, it yeah. doesn't. Okay, we're gonna keep going. going. <laughs> it always says it's never supposed to be that night, and then it ends up being that night. <laughs> I'm gonna say the hope everyone have fun and salute everyone. Salud. 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 Cheers. Cheers. Salud. Because after this, Michael speaks Spanish. Hey! Yeah. 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 You gotta learn today. Everyone talk about. Introduce. Exactly. All right, I got you. You go after go. me. Okay, Let's cool. Go. Uh, my name's Jules, and I Hi, love Jules. to play guitar, <laughs> love to sing, um, and I really like to do Kundalini yoga. Oh, I, I was supposed to go after this guy. Oh my god, I love yoga. Stop the cap. This bitch has never done yoga in her life. Although I'm such an extrovert and I love making conversations, I love getting to know people, but breaking that ice and it was actually challenging for me for the first time. My name's Yam. I'm 21 and I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada. Currently working construction and I do social media. I'm for sure open to love. I mean, if it happens, it happens. You know, if I meet the right one, and you know, I'm down. Dating older women is appealing just because I feel like they live life. Like, you know, they know what they want. Like, they have the experience and it, it, I mean, it's cool to, to learn. Oh, Hiram, you've watched too many porn. You've watched too much porn. You've watched too much TV, man. Older modern women typically are fucking dumpster fires and he is going to figure this out very quickly from other people i like pretty much traveling i love food i love eating don't cook but i mean i know how to make like huevos con salchicha like i was saying here before it doesn't matter but yeah you're not supposed to know how to cook you're a man yeah, i mean i love living life gotta live life to the fullest because you just don't know if you're gonna be here tomorrow that's right that's right, that's right. Yeah. what was it yeah, yeah. Yeah. why are you guys here my wife she wanted to go, whatever, see what happened, explore. Younger guys, blah, blah, blah. And how did you feel about that? Cool. You didn't care. <laughs> you, you didn't like, like nothing? No, no, I tell you, you got to the point. Not not a 20-something years old, but a 40s. You get uh, bored. Not bored, but you let people be. You can't hold someone. You can't. You just, what do you want to do? After four kids and so many years, Dating with another people, I wanted to feel the rush. Okay, go. Dating rush. See if a 20 something years old guy makes you feel the rush. I don't know. Okay, so old boy is like, hey man, I'm not tripping. I'm not worried. If it's too soon for Never Have I Ever or. How do you that? I'm down for that. Never Have I Ever been in a band. Never okay. Have I Ever. Oh, no one's been in a band. Had a threesome. Oh, here we go. Wait, oh I, God, got, I, I gotta go. see who. Wait, I have to see who. You have? Stop the cap. Dang, okay. I lost Ooh, my virginity to this three from actually. What? That's my interesting fact. Pero con la cara que ponen, like the face is like, I never think. You have a three song? Maybe you shouldn't have said God in Drunk in Mexico. Oh, all, 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 so many times. Bro, Come on now. You're, you're, you're done? done? Yeah, he's done. Like, oh. he's got to take a oh. shot. He starts yeah. over. You wrote an elephant? I wrote an elephant. Uh, uh, no, I have been drunk in Mexico before. I have done a threesome. Oh, that that escalated. Of course he has. <laughs> Wait, yeah. yeah. So, I'm here. This is my wife's idea. So, she was. It's always the wife's idea? Yeah, her. There it is. The wife's idea. He said this was the wife's idea. Listen, we already know Maria is going to fuck around, but god damn, this woman's tits are awesome. Like, she's got a butter face, but those tits are out of this world. I, yeah, yeah, I, I was, was saying damn. that. No, 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 I promise you. You see how she's trying to keep those motherfuckers in? Damn. That was all her. So, with the conversations that I've had with my wife, one of the things that she says about me is that I am very boring. Right? So, yeah, she says I'm boring. She said you're boring? Yes. I don't. Why does I don't. she think that you're boring? She is, she's an extrovert to the extreme. I mean, you two started dating at such a young age that I don't think she'd figure out what type of man she wanted in her life. 
No, she knew what type of man she was. Well, that, see, that's the thing. This is the great myth. You're too young to know what you want. Gentlemen, I'm here to tell you, women never know what they want. Women never, ever know what they want. But the, po- the, the, the problem is women are going for the men they want rather than the men they need. Women are going for the men they want rather than the women they need or the, rather than the men they need. And I think you probably feel very misunderstood and very unappreciated. Have you been watching my life or something? (laughs) Yo, old (laughs) girl. I've never dated a married person before. I'm very emotional, so when I get attached to a person, I I get attached to them before I really get a chance to know the person. Oh my God. So I usually never excel. Translation, he's a simp. Even though this is a good looking dude, even though this is a, even though this is a good looking dude, he clearly gets emotional very quickly. And again, this just proves that experience is the best teacher. The more experience he gets with with women, the more impervious he will become to their feminine wiles. Maybe something beautiful happens here. What makes you happy? Oh, wow. Oh, my God. (laughs) That's such a loaded question. What makes you happy? Okay, so it looks like this dude is going to be running HBCU game here. HBCU game. Fulfilling, like, some of my most wildest dreams. So some of that would be, like, traveling and really just living life. And I like to live a little bit on the wild side, but, you know, a little bit of adventure as well. Yeah, uh, Maria is a victim of Instagram. She's a victim of the Instagram. She's a victim of the Instagram curse. She wants a life that does not exist. Well, at least not for women that look like her. See, only super duper duper hot women can live the kind of life that Maria wants to live. She wants to live a life with a high value man who 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 travels and they go places and they and they live life and all that other kind of stuff. Sweetheart, that costs. It's not free. It doesn't just happen. A lot of women take for granted that what they see on Instagram, there's a lot that goes into that. There's a lot that goes into that. Okay, so you see a girl, you know, traveling the world and and doing this and that and a third, but like what did it take to get there? Right? Getting butt fucked by oil shakes. Getting shit on by oil shakes. If a woman is in a relationship, the guy works his ass off. She just takes it for granted. Like that you have any like adventures you want to fulfill? I would like to go to Spain. I want to go to Dubai. You know, like earlier when we were playing that. And right on cue, she says she wants to go to Dubai. Ay, ay, ay. Game. I've never been to Europe. Um, when they were talking about riding an elephant, like, I'm like, I've never rode an elephant. Like, those are all things that I would like to do. And I want this experience to show me how important are these kind of like bucket list items that I have. Is this something that is a deal breaker for me? Yeah, I feel like riding an elephant is kind of like a deal breaker. For sure. yeah. <laughs> I do want to do a camel first. Maybe we should do a camel first in Dubai. Maybe we should do a camel first. Like, <laughs> well, maybe not straight hey. together. I'm just saying, you said elephant. Separate camels, but... <laughs> There you go. Same day, same. Okay. I'm done with that. It's a writing camera. Yeah, definitely. I want to know something, though. So, you're a handsome guy. Thank you. Why here? Why are you single? Are you a toxico? (laughs) Are you a what? I think I'm just single just because I'm usually like... uh, So, you're a handsome guy. Thank you. Why here? Why are you single? Are you a toxico? (laughs) I think I'm just... It's funny. Look at the look on her face. Look at the look on her face when she asked him if he was toxic. This is funny as hell. Look how turned on she is when she asked him. I want to know something, though. Okay. So, you're a handsome guy. Thank you. Why here? Why are you single? Are you a toxico? (laughs) Yeah. Are you a toxico? Yeah. Yeah. Uh Uh-huh. I like his tattoo. I like his wing tattoo on his uh, on his arm. That that's pretty cool. <laughs> I think I'm just single just because I'm usually like uh, just casual dating. I feel like I'm very like emotional, so like my emotions are there and my feelings are there, but then it never really lasts. Uh oh. I just graduated last August okay. from FAU with my business degree. Okay. Uh-huh. And then I'm going to UM for my masters. God I damn. am. A very cool, chill person, somewhat introverted, somewhat extroverted. Okay. All right. Uh Uh-oh. Now, never mind the fact. Never mind the fact that she's actually sitting there talking to a black dude. But uh, right off the bat, we can already see, just with the hoop earrings, she fucks niggas, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. And she looks, I thought she was a butterface at first, but with a little bit of creative makeup, she's quite attractive. And oh yeah, her tits are humongous. 
Jesus, fuck. Ready to hurt some. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, I got to give her a Don DeMarco. Oh, yes. Oh, Don yes. DeMarco, yes, 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 yes. These girls are starting to look better and better. They're starting to look better and better. To win the battle of love for sure. If that's your focus, why are you here? So I feel like right now I'm single. And March. this time before I go back to school, I just want to like take a chance and like have a new adventure and just see what happens. And I try and take every chance I get. Normally, I would never be interested in a married guy. But the fact that their wives are okay the with cow. it and they're okay with it, I guess I'm okay with it. <laughs> Have you ever dated an older man? I haven't, but my last two relationships... Have you ever dated a black dude? You ever date a nigga? Yep. I'm going to just go out on the limb. We're 25, mm -hmm. 26, and they were very much leaning on my shoulder. And like I like baby them in a way because oh, I have like a very like motherly nature. But when someone isn't doing as much as I'm doing, like I'm in school, I'm working, and I feel like they're just like kind of chilling, doing whatever, it gets boring. Okay. And I feel... Yeah, she... Listen, man, she's attractive. She's dated bums. She's dated bums. And again, guys, you know, younger men, we don't like... Dude, again, I was useless in my 20s, man. I had no value. I had very little... I had very little to no value in my 20s. This is just how it is. This is just how it is. I feel like in a way I have like an old soul. Like I've always been much more mature for my age, so... I feel like it's something I need to try. What do you envision when you see a younger guy versus an older man? Younger men typically just like want to like fuck a bunch of bitches. Sorry to say that. <laughs> <laughs> or like a lot of them don't hardly have like a, a major goal. When I was 22, I was building my first house. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so I was, I was, you're yeah. an exception, but like uh, most. Uh oh, he's dropping the game. He's dropping the game. I don't like that. I don't know. I feel like I have a better connection with people who are older, to be honest with you. That's awesome. Yeah. That's good. So you yeah, I have a better connection with women with tits like that, too. You're here because... I think this is an experience that's needed. I think that after all the years that we've been together, you know, the ups and... I wonder if they do bonfires. I wonder what the. I wonder what this version of the bonfire is going to be. Downs. We are strong. Do you right. think it's going to help your relationship? Do you think it's going to, like, potentially no. mess it up? I would be lying if I said that there wasn't a possibility that it could mess it up, right? Again, some of those comments that she had made before, you know, saying that, you know, what if you were an extrovert, what would it be like? This experience allowed for her to see that in a controlled environment. <laughs> it's absolutely <laughs> not controlled. No, like no one is just going to be like, stop. Right. I feel like it could definitely, either you're going to miss her a lot or you're going to feel like I'm having so much fun 